Hello, friends. I'm so glad you're here for the second, second Sunday, artsy, excuse me, artsy second Sunday uh, hop. It's a bunch of artists from Creative Arts Collaboration. Um, my friend Martha from I Love to Paint has helped put us together and we are sharing our art and the first thing I'm going to do is create a crackle background. Now, I'm using a couple of different crackle mediums. The one I'm going to work on today has weathered wood from Deco Art. And you can see it's just painted on this Arteza uh, canvas board. And I'm going to add some colors of Deco Art paint to the background. These are, what are they called? They are fluid. Hmm. They're a fluid paint <laughs> from Deco Art. Uh, yeah, my brain's leaving me today. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I'm just sketching out um, where I want to paint on this. And I'm using a Stabilo in a blue. I don't want to use the black. I think the black would be a little bit too stark. And I like the way the blue is gonna blend in with the paint. So um, I figured this is a pretty good choice. I could have used a brown or a green, you know, but this happens to be what I grabbed. So next I'm going to take a water brush pen. These are water reservoir brushes. They have a place to store water inside so they stay wet. And I'm gonna wet that uh, pencil down because that will make it become permanent. And will also uh, give me a little bit better idea where I want to be. Um, that blue I'm gonna use as a shadow color. So yeah, I, it's not a big deal that it's kind of smearing around. You're gonna see how I compensate for that when I go to add the paint. So now I have some deco art traditions and a little bit of deco art media that I'm mixing together. This is a pink and a quinacridone uh, magenta. And I'm just gonna start to paint my petals. These are poppies. Um, I got inspiration from magazine. It's uh, Birds and Blooms or something like that. You can pick those up. I, I like to go to the uh, Half Price Bookstore and get magazines because you can use them for cutouts for your collaging and you can also find pictures in them that inspire you. So that's what I've done is I've taken that picture, that photo from a garden and I'm going to use those poppy pictures to inspire my painting today. So I've got the first layer down and I'm going to dry that off and start mixing some more colors. Here you can see my inspiration piece is up there. I also have another piece or two out on my desk. Um, I was playing around with these backgrounds, these crackle backgrounds, and uh, I'd done a number of them. So you can see on my left, there's a leaf that I have added to a crackle background that has some uh, gold medium on it that gives it the bling. And there's another uh, piece that has a blue background, but you know, we're concentrating on this one today because this is a short video. Uh, what we do is a 15 minute video for this hop. And then if you check the description box below, there will be links to uh, the other people in the group that are hopping along. And you just click on the first one in the list and it'll take you to the next one. Because uh, if we premiere, they're 15 minutes apart. 
and you're going to see, you know, who comes up next and you're going to actually see a live premiere. So if you're watching this live, you can go directly to the next live and the next one and uh, be in the chat. So now I'm going to add the centers of the flower and one of these little poppy seed heads. Uh, if you guys have grown poppies, you know that they shoot up these little green seed heads and they have, uh, they, when they get dried out, you can open that up and that's going to have all the seeds for the poppies. So I like the seed heads. I like the design of them. I like the fact that it was in the inspiration photo. So I'm also going to use that. Now I'm using a stylist just to tap on some of that color for the stamen of the poppy. And uh, I'm also going to use it to add, there's a little fringy looking thing at the top of the seed head here. So I'm going to use that to create that uh, textural part of the imagery. And I'm just using a probably about a number six, number eight round brush to apply that paint with. And then coming back with that uh, tool to tap the paint on. If you've seen dot paintings where they just uh, do different sizes of dots, um, they use tools like that for it. So now I'm reaching for some glazes. These are eye zinc glazes. Seth Apter has a line with eye zinc and these are some of his and I'm using it to uh, place some glaze in those areas where it's darkened in the center of the poppy and down at the bottom. Um, I've got several different colors. I'm using this uh, turquoise blue and kind of a black color and a yellow green color. No, that's just yellow. It's looking green because it's going over the top of green and it's a glaze. And so when you glaze something, you see the colors that are underneath. So I'm adding the glaze to the background also because I've got extra glaze here and I want to just uh, add that in then then I also decide that I'm going to add some water to that dark shade and put some shadows in underneath these petals it's really a lot of fun to play with all these different products and see just what you can do with the texture and the colors Anyway, um, I have them in my stash, so I might as well get them out and use them, right? Love the crackle, love the glazes, just a lot of uh, fun ways that you can add to your creations through mixed media. So this is a very diluted glaze at this point because I don't I don't want it really dark. I just want to create a shadow. So this is very uh, the I think is very gelatinous, and so you can use it in a dimensional fashion. And you can also dilute it down and paint with it. It's, it's got uh, several ways of being used. So I'm mixing the colors that are on my palette, the green and the red, and you know, combining them to create different shades within the uh, color family 
that I am already using in this painting. I like to mix my own uh, paints to get the depth and the variation in these petals. So I'm using that to show the shadowing and the depth on these stems and petals and yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> So I saw that there was another little uh, poppy head or something sticking out from behind this particular blossom in the inspiration piece. So I thought, well, okay, I'm going to put that in here. Um, and I'm just touching up the stems, adding some of that glaze in the yellow to the tops where the sunlight would be hitting. You know, think about where the light would be coming from, from where it's reflecting from. And now I'm adding a little bit of the dark. So I'm pretty much ready to uh, finish this project out. I will have parting shots for you, so stick around for those close-ups. And be sure and check the description box below and click on the next person in the link section. I'll try to be here live so that I can add that for you in the premiere. But if you're not live, it's always in the description box. And also, I want to thank you for having spent time with me today for you know, liking, sharing, subscribing, all of those things that help my channel because, you know, um, I do this for you. And if I don't know that this is important to you, there's no point in my continuing to do it, right? <laughs> so <laughs> let me know if you're enjoying these videos. So uh, the other thing I have to say is there is a hashtag, which is hashtag artsy second Sunday. If you want to see all the second Sunday videos, you can use that hashtag and search on YouTube and find other videos. So I'm very grateful for all of you for your kind wishes and thoughts and uh, go check out the other videos. Thanks guys. Bye for now.